look at a native warm season grass, a native cool season grass, and tall fescue, which is an introduced cool season grass, all here on this same day and look at the growth on it. It's May 9th. I'm standing in a switchgrass field. Switchgrass is a warm season grass. Warm season grasses grow during the warm season of the year and then tend to make seed there at the end of the warm season. So summer is their time. Uh, we've had a fairly cool spring. Um, it was warm there initially, but then it's cooled off. We're going through blackberry winter, just coming out of that right now when the blackberries are blooming here. We've had a bunch of rain here recently, but we were actually quite dry earlier. This switchgrass field is, it is going and it is just now starting to really come into production. Through the last couple, you know, weeks and even the last month, it's been green, but it started out just as little green spears. And then now it's at that point when we get some heat and full sun, it is going to put some real, real growth on. But even here at the early part of the growth, I've got a clipboard here. It's probably 12 or 13 inches tall. And if I put that down in our grass, uh, you can't, can't see it. It is, you know, we've got grass that is, my rubber boots here are probably, I don't know, 18 inches tall. And we've got grass all the way up to them and even a little bit more, the tips of it. In fact, if I stretch out the tips of it, you know, we're almost up to pocket knife high. So it's an impressive amount of growth, especially considering that this is only a fraction of the growth that's gonna come. This is gonna produce tons of forage here in the next month and the next and the few months that follow that. The warm season is when this shines. Let's go look at a native cool season grass called bottle brush with colt. We're out here in the uh, field of bottle brush grass today. And if you can see, we've got our bottle brush grass. It's up about 30 inches tall. It was grazed the last winter until about the end of February. Then we pulled the livestock off of it. Uh, it grow, grew up a lot, starts to grow in about the first part of April. Uh, it's green all winter, but really starts to grow first part of April. Then it's starting to elongate. We're here at May 9th, 30 inches tall. I'd say in another 15 days, we'll be up around 40 inches tall. But here on May 9th, I dried out a forage sample. We yielded two and a quarter tons per acre on a dry matter basis. So at 0% moisture, there was 4,500 pounds of forage here on this field. This forage yield is all with no fertilizer. So bottle brush grass, it's kind of its life cycle is to green up about October and it'll grow through the winter. You can graze it some over winter, you can graze it here in the spring. Then in April, it really takes off growing. Uh, it'll probably start to have seed heads down in the boot about May the 20th or so. We'll start to see seed head emergence towards the 1st of June. It's gonna go ahead and make its seed and dry down in uh, the latter part of June. Then it'll go somewhat dormant for this hot summer of July, August, and September, then it'll come back and green up on you in about October and start to cycle over again. This is just a broadcast planting of bottle brush grass, and that's the way it is. Let's go take a look at the neighbor's fescue field. So I'm here in the neighbor's fescue field, and it's it's really a pretty well-managed fescue, orchard grass, clover. I uh, see some chicory, different things, so pretty diverse in here. It is rotationally strip grazed. It was not fertilized this year, but it was fertilized last year. So that's kind of where we're at. I don't know what the neighbor uses for fertilizer. Anyways, let's take a look at what we got. So get our clipboard here. We've got leaf growth. Oh, I'm gonna say about eight inches tall. Of course, we've got seed head growth up about 24 inches tall or so. So that's kind of what we're looking at. Uh, the seed heads you see are mostly fescue, orchard grass. There's a little Kentucky bluegrass. Um, so it is going into the reproductive phase. The quality is going down slightly. Um, and like I say, it's May 9th. So the life cycle of fescue is it grows really rapidly in the early spring. So you start getting in February, March, April. And here we are in May, it's going reproductive and then it's going to kind of slow its growth down. This is probably, this has not been grazed yet this year as in this spring. Uh, maybe last graze on it was probably in December, January time frame. Um, neighbors doing his, moving his fence down. We can see there in the background uh, where he's grazed that. So this is kind of normal spring growth for fescue. It's going to 
make seed. It doesn't really go dormant or turn brown per se, but it's definitely growth's gonna slow down to pretty well nothing. Um, and then you could graze this off in the, over summer without getting a whole lot of regrowth on the fescue itself. Then here in the fall, whenever the August, September, when the rains start to come again, it's gonna green up, start to grow a little bit. September, really in October, November, it'll do quite a bit of growth. Probably get you about the same amount of tonnage you have here if you don't do anything with it. And then it will then grow, stay somewhat green over winter and you can rotate in and out of it. It's kind of a life cycle of fescue. Here we are on May 9th, so that's what it looks like. This has been Cole Hamilton with Hamilton Native Outpost. Hope you enjoy this video. We enjoy sharing information with you all. Uh, be sure to check us out on our website and Facebook.